Hey guys, welcome back to another Terraria episode. Today I really want to fight that shark boss, but uh, for that, it seems like I need to catch a specific type of worm. That creature is called Truffle Worm and uh, can only be caught in underground mushroom biome. So I bought a bug catching net and uh, headed to my jungle where I knew I had some mushroom biomes. I'm really not sure how to go about doing this. I don't even know how that worm looks like. Guess I'll run around and uh, hope luck strikes me. Okay, so I did a little bit of research and uh, people say it's best if I create flat surfaces covered in mushroom grass. I'll try doing that and see what results it will bring. Okay, so I decided to dig a tunnel and uh, convert it to mushroom biome. I also found out mushroom grass only spreads to mud blocks. This is definitely gonna take a while. Hey, I got a surprise for you. You guys often asked, when am I gonna play with other people? Well, right now. Since I wasn't able to catch a worm by myself, I required Inu Shiba's assistance. Inu has me added on Steam and uh, has been giving me tips since this Terraria series started. And I thought to myself, hmm, you're that good, right? Well, catch me a worm then. So I invited him to my world. Unfortunately for me, Inu wasn't too impressed of my worm farm and uh, said he's got a better one. But I still had hopes in my farm and uh, thought the only thing it lacked was mushroom grass. So we thought of something else to do while we're waiting for that mushroom grass to spread and we decided we should take on the cultists. Before anyone asks, Inu had the vampire knives as a weapon and a beetle armor set. And just like that, the fight started. After fighting this guy, I realized I had a big problem. Well, three big problems actually. Three fat bosses spawned in the world and they were very strong too. But besides the new bosses bullying my land, I realized my Terra Blade isn't quite suited to fight moving targets. Inu's knives would hit every single time, but my sword's projectiles, not really. I decided to keep using that though and uh, tried helping Inu fight the bosses as best as I could.
That was tough. Thank God for Inu's presence. Defeating the solar pillar gave us solar fragments. Next objective we set, clear the nebula pillar 2. And objective complete. Clearing the final pillar though would make the Moon Lord spawn. And uh, I was kinda hesitant about fighting Moon Lord as I felt I was underprepared compared to Inu. So I went back to my warm farming place to try and catch it again. While I was messing around in my uh, farm, Inu left to his world, caught a few worms and came back. Unsurprisingly, all this time Inu left, I caught not one, not two, but zero worms. But anyway, that doesn't matter anymore, cause the good news is, we are now able to spawn Duke Fishrun. Inu warned me again on how useless my weapon will be in that fight, but uh, we still rolled with it. Time to spawn that fat fish? And the fish got defeated. All me guys, it was all me. You know, just uh, stood there and watched, trust me. Anyway, since Inu managed to catch multiple worms, we spawned the shark a few more times. And after fighting it two more times, the best drop I ended up with is uh, this staff, able to spawn mini shark nados. These follow you around and uh, are way stronger than my previous deadly spheres, so I'm definitely gonna keep those. Well guys, a huge amount of progress was done today thanks to Inu's visit and uh, thanks to his experience with the game. I'll now have to see what other weapon I can get besides my Terra Blade. A weapon that I can use in fighting Moonlord and well a good weapon. What do you guys suggest? But that's gonna be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for leaving tips. And I'll see you on the next video.